Hey kids! Today we're going to learn about a super cool insect called the praying mantis. They look like they're praying but they're actually getting ready to catch their food. Praying mantises are like little ninjas in the garden. They're super sneaky and can camouflage themselves so well that you might not even see them hiding. Get ready to explore the world of the praying mantis, from their different colors and sizes to their amazing hunting skills. A praying mantis is a really cool insect that gets its name from how it holds its front legs. It looks like it's praying but it's actually getting ready to snatch up a tasty bug. Praying mantises live in lots of different places, you might find them in your garden hanging out on a leaf or a flower, they also live in forests, meadows and even deserts. They're pretty much like little adventurers exploring all kinds of cool places. Praying mantises come in different colors just like crayons, some are green, some are brown, and some even have stripes or spots. Did you know that there are tons of different kinds of praying mantises all over the world? There are over 2,400 different species of praying mantises. One kind is called the Chinese mantis, and it's one of the biggest ones around. They're really good at catching pesky bugs that might munch on our fruits and veggies. Then there's the African mantis, which is super fast and can even catch things in the air. They're like the acrobats of the insect world. And get this, there's even a kind of praying mantis called the orchid mantis. It looks just like a beautiful flower. It tricks other insects into coming close and then, snap, it grabs them with its super fast reflexes. Praying mantises are like the ninjas of the insect world. They're super sneaky and can camouflage themselves so well that other insects don't even see them coming. They can blend in with leaves, flowers, and even tree bark. Praying mantises are also super fast. They have these lightning quick reflexes that allow them to catch their prey in the blink of an eye. Praying mantises use their strong front legs to grab and hold on to their prey. Those legs are like super powered grabbing machines. Once those legs close in, there's no escape. Praying mantises are like tiny superheroes for our gardens and farms. They're not just cool looking, they're super helpful too. They're like little guardians protecting our plants. Praying mantises love to eat insects that can be harmful to our fruits, vegetables and flowers. They gobble up pesky bugs like flies, moths and even those pesky aphids that can damage our plants. So, if you see a praying mantis in your garden, don't be scared. They're our friends and they're helping to keep our plants healthy and strong. Are praying mantises dangerous? Now some of you might be thinking, wow, praying mantises sound pretty tough. Are they dangerous to people? But don't worry kids, praying mantises are actually very gentle creatures, especially towards humans. They're not going to chase after you or try to bite you. So, if you see a praying mantis, you can admire it from a safe distance and appreciate how cool it is. Just remember, there are friends in the garden, helping to keep things balanced and healthy. Praying mantises have a really interesting way of having babies. The mommy mantis lays lots and lots of tiny eggs, and she covers them in a special foamy case called an uthaca. This foamy case hardens and protects the eggs until they're ready to hatch. Then, when the weather is warm enough, out pop hundreds of tiny baby mantises. Can you imagine that many baby mantises? It's like a mantis party. These little mantises look just like miniature versions of their parents, and they're ready to start exploring the world and hunting for their own food. Wow, we learned so much about praying mantises today. They're truly amazing creatures, aren't they? From their incredible hunting skills to their important role in our ecosystem, praying mantises are a vital part of our natural world. Remember, if you see a praying mantis in the wild, observe it from a distance and appreciate its unique beauty and behavior. And always remember to treat all creatures, big and small, with respect and kindness. Make sure you subscribe to Getter Done Kids TV so you can learn about more cool stuff. Thanks for joining me on this awesome adventure. Bye-bye.